This morning, the Stockton Police Department is looking to recruit some new police officers to its force. The police chief says he's looking for people who are ready to make a difference in the community. But first, those interested first have to pass a physical test. Joining us this morning is Officer Joe Silva with the Stockton Police Department. And good morning, Mr. Silva. Good morning. How are you doing? Great. Tell me a little bit more about what it takes, do you think, to be a Stockton Police Officer? Yes, to be a Stockton police officer, you have to go through a series of tests. And right now we're at Cesar Chavez High School here in Stockton taking one of those tests, which is the physical fitness portion of the examination. And what the applicants are doing behind me on the track, they have three parts of this test. They got to jump over a wall, go through an obstacle course, and at the end of that course, they have to do a body drag. And then at the very end, they have to do a 500 yard run. This is not easy. I've taken part in this challenge just as something fun to do that you guys host with the media here in Sacramento, and that body drag was the hardest thing for me to do. I was able to luckily scale the fence. Who do you think gets weeded out of this competition here? Yes, most people will have difficulty getting over the wall, and that's where we lose a lot of applicants, unfortunately. So that's why before we get to this portion of the test, we have a lot of different mini tests that we do with potential applicants, teaching them how to get over the wall, how to effectively do the body drag, so that when they come out to do their test, that they pass. And did I hear that you have some uh, 500 applicants that are out here today? Yes, today's a great day because we have over 500 applicants and they've come as far as Texas to come here to take this test today. Law enforcement right now is a very competitive market and we're looking for good qualified applicants. And there's been so many tragedies affecting law enforcement officers killed. Do you think that people are somewhat discouraged to join the force or are you still seeing a high interest of people who are ready to make a difference in our community? No, we still see a high level of people that are interested in becoming police officers. Obviously, we have seen tragedies occur here in California and across the nation. Just yesterday, unfortunately, in Texas, we had that deputy sheriff who was at the gas station pumping gas into his cruiser when he was shot and killed. But all the applicants that we talk to, they definitely want to come to Stockton and make a difference. And we always need more women on the force. Are you seeing a strong turnout of women who are applying this morning? Yes, yeah, so far I've seen a lot of women that are out here getting ready to take the physical examination, and that's encouraging. And we also, what we're seeing is a lot of homegrown applicants that are here, people from Stockton that want to come serve their community. And quickly, Joe, is it too late to join and take this physical test this morning? I know you started at 8. Yes, it is, uh, but we're encouraging people to fill out interest cards, and they can do that by visiting our website at joinspd.com. Okay, the physical agility test now underway there in Stockton. So good luck to all the applicants. And, and Joe, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Okay, if you're interested again, you can, as you heard, that they are at Cesar Chavez High School right now, and that's located at 2929 Windflower. You can go out and root on those people who are hoping to be Stockton police officers, and those who pass the test will be invited for the written examination later this afternoon.